I attended Newtown High School. Uh, Mayapak High School. My name is Amanda Lai and I went to Bayside High School. I attended Northport High School. I attended uh, Tuggo High School. Not very diverse. We had a few Hispanics and a few African Americans and the rest of our student population was white. All right. Very white. It's located in Elmhurst, Queens and it's probably one of the most diverse high schools in the Tri-State area. Our, our high school is very diverse. We had literally the United Nations, the children of the diplomats sent their kids to our school. And um, we had very various races. Not really. It was mostly uh, middle to upper class uh, white kids, I guess. When you're in college, you're interacting with so many different people from so many different backgrounds. You know, being in that environment where it was so diverse, it kind of prepared you for the next level. And it made, uh, it made the transition that much easier. And not just to judge a book by its cover, but they're really cool people. And like Filipinos are mad cool too. Like those are some of my closest friends of other you know, nationalities. And I wouldn't have found them probably through college easily if I hadn't experienced them earlier through high school. So, you know, unlike Northport High School, I'm gonna find a lot of different types of people out in the real world while I'm looking for jobs and stuff. So this prepared me for that, I'd say yeah. Um, there weren't that many computers, but there weren't that many people using them because a lot of people used the computers just to just for fun and the librarians kept track of how long you were on there so you weren't allowed on there for long. I mean like they had Windows XP and stuff, but like you'd go on there and it'd say Windows update needs to be installed, Adobe update needs to be installed, and all these pop-ups would come up and it would take you eight hours to find like information you needed or to do work. Then I went to another school which had a lot of different stuff. Like I was in a club, I was in a football team, I was in a club every day, some days I had two clubs. I was part of everything. My grades were better, I met more people. Where the teachers would stay, um, well they would let kids out of class early so they can go to the teachers and request any sort of guidance or whatever they needed for the subjects that they taught or whatever that they were having problems with. There was this one professor. She was my U.S. history teacher. She she would always help us out during the test. She would that test. She would have a test one week, which would lead to the test next week. So all her tests matches. It matched what she actually taught in class. Some of my teachers seem to be passionate about the subject they were teaching. Some of them took their time out to actually answer my questions and compliment me on my work or comment about my work. You know, you know, give me criticism. Um. I did. I had this one guy uh, named Mr. Lewis. I had him in 11th grade. Uh, he was pretty cool. He helped me out with all my uh, social studies stuff. And I, I ended up getting 99 on the Regents. It didn't really seem like they expected too much out of us. It was, a, it was known as a bad school. There was a lot of gang violence and, you know, troubles like that. We had police in there. It, it was hectic, so we really didn't care that much about schoolwork. There was a lot of other things going on. I feel like the resources were provided to me for me to do the research and for me to ask questions, but I wasn't really pushed to go to the best college. It was just, here are the colleges, now you choose for yourself. They motivated me to do well, they motivated me to be successful, and they always wanted the best out of me. And I was, I was pretty close with a lot of my teachers, and they always expected the best out of me, so I tried to give them what they wanted.